we all love Imran deeply and, and um, admire him hugely. And we're obviously all concerned for him now. Um, he's been one of the great inspirations of my life. I, In what I, grew, way? I mean, as a, as a young teenager, he was the kind of older male role model in my in my family. He was always there during school holidays and so on. He taught me how to play cricket, <laughs> and he um, and he also taught me that it's absolutely normal to take a love of nature into adulthood. Now, I think a lot of children leave it behind in childhood that that outward love of nature. And he would he would pause on a walk and say, "Thank Allah for the gift of fragrance or for the gift of birdsong." And for 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 Imran. Nature is the primordial manifestation of God, which is sort of the realization that I may have come to in the last year or two. And um, that's why Imran was the most environmentalist, most radical environmentalist world leader for several years with his 10 billion tree tsunami and the Recharge Pakistan initiative, which is restoring hundreds of thousands of acres of wetlands. And there are even plans to reintroduce a one-horned rhinoceros to Pakistan, the first country to reintroduce from captivity um, the rhinoceros. So. Um, he, he's an inspiration, and um, we all love him deeply. I don't know what's going on over there, though. I'm not involved at all in No, Pakistan. no, no. I just wondered what sort of advice, given that he's offered you so much advice over the years, what, would you, what advice would you offer him now? So Im Imran has a staunch faith um, in, 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 in a higher plan and, and that each of us has a purpose in this world to do good in, in our own unique way, and he trusts in that plan and believes that all will be well, one way or another. That's what he said to me at the beginning, is all will be well one way or another. 